Hello everyone. I will show you how to build a Flutter quiz app that fetches the data from an API. The app will present to the user a quiz question with four possible answers. The user can select the category, difficulty level, and number of questions for the quiz. We will use the APIs of the Open Trivia database to get the questions and the categories. You can find thousands of questions here and you can filter them by category and difficulty level. We will use two APIs, one to get the categories list and one to get the questions based on category and difficulty. Let's start by creating the app folders. We need common folder and features folder. We will create a folder for each feature. We have quiz and settings features. We will update the Bob spec file to add the dependencies the app will use for its functionality, such as riverbot for state management, freezed for the data modeling, and more. We added a models folder for each feature where we will create the data classes. For the quiz, we will use a quiz question model with attributes such as question, category, and difficulty. Additionally, it will have a correct answer attribute and a list for the incorrect answers. We will use those attributes to create a list for the answers. For settings, we have a quiz category class with ID and name. We run the code generator by executing the build runner command. We created a services folder inside the common folder and a quiz service dart file inside it. Before creating the surface, we need to create a state for the settings. We will use an enum for the state, so we created a utilities folder inside the common and then we created enums.dart file. We will have two enums, one for difficulty and one for the quiz state. Next, we created the settings state, which will hold the number of questions, category, and difficulty. The initial state will have five questions, a category of general knowledge, and a difficulty of any. Next, we created a state notifier provider for this state inside controllers folder. Now we can create the quiz service and its provider. The service will fetch the Open Trivia API to get the categories and the questions. For the questions, we will use the settings state to build the query parameters. We will use the response of the categories request to build a list of quiz category model. Next, we created a navigation folder and a routes.dart file. We will have two routes in the app, one for the home page and one for the settings. We created a repository layer to abstract away the service networking code. Next, we need to work on the UI. We will start with the settings page.
But first, let's create a couple of common widgets that we will use in the app. We created a UI folder inside the common folder. Now we created a display error widget. It will display an error message and a refresh button to refresh the quiz provider. The next widget is the quiz button widget. The user will use it to navigate through the quiz screens and also on the settings page. We will pass to this widget the title and the on pressed function. Now we can create the settings page. The user can select on this page the number of questions, the category, and the difficulty level. We will use the quest service to build the drop-down list of the categories. When the user click on the save button, it will update the settings state. Now let's start working on the quiz features. We created the controllers folder and the UI folder. In the controllers folder, we will create the quiz state dart file. Here we will track the selected answer, a list of correct answers and a list of incorrect answers. We will also track the status of the quiz. Next, we created a state notifier for the quiz. Now, let's start working on the quiz UI. We will start with the quiz answer widget. We will use this widget to display the answers of the quiz question. When the user tap on the answer, and depending if it is correct or wrong, we will highlight that with a different color. Green for the correct answer, red for the wrong answer. The quiz questions widget is a page view. The item count will be the number of the questions the user will set in the setting page. We will display the answers options in a column using the quiz answer widget. When the user complete the quiz, we will display the results in the quiz result widget. We will show the number of correct answers from the overall number of questions. The user can click on the quiz button to start a new quiz. The quiz page is the main page of the app. Here we will put all those widgets together to display the quiz experience. We will display the questions in the body and we will use a bottom sheet to display a quiz button for the user to navigate through the quiz questions. We will set up the routing using the GoRouter package.
We will have a route for the main page and a route for the settings. The quiz app Dart file is where we will have the material app. Finally, we update the main.dart file to add the provider scope and the child is the quiz app. Now the app is ready. Run the app and you will get the quiz experience. Check the setting page where you can change the category of the quiz and the difficulty level. You can also set the number of questions. There's one final change we can use on the quiz service. The change to remove those parameters in the get questions method and use the settings state instead. Don't forget to update the repository for that.